Hello guys, anyo And in this video po, we're going to study this grammatical structure na commonly lumalabas sa actual EPS topic exam. Okay? So, the verb stem plus umyon dweda. Okay? So, umyon dweda. So, it has a lot of meaning, guys. It can mean it's okay if or it's allowed to. If you do it, it's okay. Ganun. So, marami siyang meaning. Pero let's try to ano muna guys, dissect kung ano ba talaga yung meaning niya uh, word by word. Okay? So first the word dweda, okay? So dweda guys, uh, it's in dictionary form and it means to be done, to be possible, to be allowed. Okay? So in short, it just means pwede. Okay? So it just means pwede. Okay? So pwede. So, kapag ginagamit na siya sa sentence, guys, yung magiging form na niya, temnida, okay, temnida, okay, temnida, or, nakayo form, de, eyo, okay. So, yan na po yung magiging mukha niya, pag ginamit na po siya in, in the sentence, okay. So, deyo, or, temnida, okay. So, it just means, pwede, okay. And itong myon, so may kasama yan, the umyon, okay. So, patim is myon, okay. So, if may patim, guys, umyon. Pero pag walang patim, patim i ops myon, myon lang po, okay. So, yung ibig sabihin nito, guys, it just means if, okay. So, kung sa Tagalog, no, conditional. So, all in all, it can mean, pwede if, blah, blah, blah. Okay, depend is a verb. Okay. So, now, let's try to study kung paano siya kino-conjugate into different verbs. Okay, guys. So, now, let's try to conjugate this uh, grammatical structure into different verbs. Okay. So, again, madali lamang po ito kasi uh, you just have to identify lang kung may patchim siya or wala. So, when you say patchim, uh, yan po yung uh, consonant na nasa ibaba ng syllable or what we call the final consonant okay so patchim so dito po na side guys as you can see meron po silang patchim okay so dito naman po walang patchim okay so ngayon paano mo yan gagawin so first kailangan mo kunin yung verb stem niya okay so verb stem so when you get the verb stem kailangan mo lang uh, i-remove yung da. So, ayan. So, as you can see, meron siyang patsim. So, ngayon, pag may patsim, yung igagawin mo is, lalagyan mo siya ng u. Okay. So, u myon deyo. Deyo. Okay. So, mog myon deyo. Not ta, okay, uh, it means to put in, no, ipasok. So, since may patsim siya, guys, so yung lalagay mo is, and then itong ikta, to read, so since may patsim siya, so all in all, guys, from the start, mokta becomes mogumyon deyo. So, it means it's okay, it's allowed if you eat. Okay. So, mogumyon deyo. It just means pwede if kakain ka. Or, it's allowed to eat. You may eat. Pwede kang kumain. Okay. So, mogumyon deyo. Okay. So, number two, no umyon deyo. So, it means, guys, uh, it's allowed if you not ta. Ano ibig sabihin nito? In. So, it's allowed to put in. Okay? So, you may put it in. Ganun. So, pwede mo siyang ipasok. Ganun. So, na umyon deyo. Mm. Kabang ane na umyon deyo. So, it means na you may put in inside the bag. Kabang ane. Okay? So, next. Il gumyon deyo. So, it means guys, it's okay, it's allowed if you ikta. If you read. So, you may read it. Ganun, yung thought nito, guys. No, It's allowed to read. Okay, guys. So, dito sa kabila, 
patsimi opsoyo. So, wala po siyang patsim. So, when you remove the da, as you observe, okay, wala pong uh, mga patsim or final consonant sa kanilang verb stem. Okay. So, ngayon, pag walang final consonant or patsim, so, yung ilalagay mo lang is myon dueda. Okay. So, yung ha magiging yo. So, it's okay if you hada. If you ha. Okay. It means do. So, it's okay or you're allowed to do it. Okay. Hamyan deyo. Mm. Mm. Hamyan deyo. Okay. It means you may do it. You're allowed to do it. It's okay if you do it. Yanon. Okay. Next. Kada kanina guys. Magiging kamyan. So, it just means uh, it's allowed if you go. It's okay if you go. It's possible if you go. You may go. So, marami yung meaning. Basta yung ibig sabihin lang, pwede if aalis ka. Or pwede kang umalis. Yan. Kamyan deyo. Okay? Kamyan deyo. Mm. Sigam kamyan deyo. Mm. So, next, pori da, which means to throw. Okay? So, pori myon. Okay, so porimian deyo means it's okay if you throw it. Okay, so pwede if itatapon. So you may throw it. It's okay to throw it. Okay, so we have the sample sentences here. So number one, ilbon, kyushil. Uh, okay, kyushil anneso, umsigil mokta. Okay, so to eat, umsig, food. Anneso. In, okay? So, in, then, an, guys, means inside. Okay, sa loob. Okay, so, an, ne, so, it just means inside. Sa loob ng kyushil. Okay, kyushil means, okay, kyushil means classroom. Okay, so, to eat food inside the classroom. So, ngayon, paano mo sasabihin, you may, or, it's allowed if you eat food inside the classroom. So, yung mokta magiging, yes, remove mo yung da, okay, remove mo yung da, and then, since may patchimi siya, guys, so, you put, u, myon, deyo. Okay, u, myon, deyo. So, yung ibig sabihin niyan is, pwede if kakain ka ng food, sa loob ng classroom. Okay. So, it's allowed or you may eat food inside the classroom. So, kyushil aneso. Umsigil mogumyon deyo. Okay. Kadao me. Next, number two. Tamber piuda. Okay. Tamber piuda. Which means uh, to smoke cigarette. Okay. Remove mo yung da. So, myon. Kasi walang patsim, guys. Okay. So, myon deyo means pwede if manigarilyo ka ng sigaret. Okay. So, it just means you are allowed to smoke. Okay. It's allowed or it's okay to smoke. Tamber piu myon deyo. Yogi e jucharul hada. Okay. So, yogi e jucharul hada. Yogi, guys, means here. Okay. E in. In here, or it just means here, dito. Juchar hada. Jucha, guys, means parking. Okay, parking. Again, hada to do. So, juchar hada, or juchar hada, which means to park. Okay, juchar hada. Okay, juchar hada. So, ang hada magiging. So, yogi e juchar hamyon deyo. So, meaning, pwede if magpa-park ka dito. You are allowed to park here. Okay, next. Chigum kopir masida. Chigum means now. Kopi. Okay, kopi guys means coffee. Masida to drink. Okay, so basic verb. Okay, so remove mo yung da. Hmm? So, chigum kopir masimyon deyo. Okay, masimyon deyo. So, pwede if you drink coffee now. So, you're allowed to drink coffee now. Okay. So, yan po yung gamit ng myondeyo, guys. However, if you want to say 
hindi pwede, it's not allowed. So, yung gagawin mo lang guys is, lagyan mo lang siya ng an before deo. Ano ba yung kabalikaran ng deo? Yes, an deo. So, you may put an, okay, yan, okay. So, to indicate na hindi pwede. Kasi an means uh, not or don't, okay. So, itong an na ito guys at itong an na ito is different sila. Kasi ito is location. At ito is, uh, hindi siya location. Ginagamit siya in order to make negative statements. Okay. So, location, itong ana ito, kasi yung kasunod na marker is location marker. Okay. So, yan po yung isa sa mga pag-identify kung yung an ba is location or hindi. Okay. So, it just means, andeo means not allowed. So, hindi allowed if kakain ka ng food inside the classroom. O, kusil andeso. Kung sigil mo, gumiyon andeo. Andeo. Ande. Okay. Tambir piumiyon. Yes, magiging an. Okay. So, andeo. O, tambir piumiyon andeo. Hindi pwede or you are not allowed It's not allowed. It's not okay if you smoke. Ganun. So, next. Yogi eh. Chuchar hamyon. Yes. An deyo. Okay. So, it means you are not allowed to park here. Okay. Last. Chigum kopir masimyon. An deyo. So, it just means not allowed if you drink coffee. Now, okay. So, by just putting an, guys, nagiging negative na yung meaning ng sentence.